How's it going guys? Today I'll be doing a simple tutorial on how to rotate any game object. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, we'll be creating a very basic script that we can literally apply to any game object. So to get started, let's create a cube. Um, we're just going to reset the, the position to zero. And let's create a C sharp script. So we can call it rotate. Uh, once we've done that, we click on our cube and we just want to apply the script to our object. But we can do that by just dragging it on. Um, we can double click on the script to bring it up so we can edit it. So we don't need this void stopped, but what we do need, we need a float to define the speed in which we want to rotate the object. Cool, once we've done that, in the void update, we're going to add logic to basically rotate the object. So we do that by saying transform dot rotate um, the different parameters. Uh, this is the x axis, the y axis, and the z axis. So basically, what this does, if we wanted to transform the object, rotate the object um, on the y axis, we will obviously change this one. If we wanted to change it on the x axis, we change this one. On the z axis, we change this one. So for now, we want to rotate the object at our speed of 10 uh, by time dot delta time. So basically what this means is we're going to be rotating our object at a speed of 10 on the y-axis. So we click save, go back to our game, click on the cube. We can now see we have this new option for the speed. If we click play, we can now see the objects rotating on the y-axis and you can see it slowly updating over here. Cool. If you wanted to get a bit more fancy and maybe uh, you wanted to rotate the object on the x-axis as well at maybe a bit faster speed, we can then go speed x times time dot delta time. Cool. So now this is going to rotate the object at a speed of 15 on the x-axis and then at, a speed of, at the same time, the speed of 10 on the y-axis. Cool, go back to our game. You can now see we have this option for 15. And we click play. We can now see the object slowly rotating like this on both the x and y-axis. Cool, thanks guys.